In this video, I'm gonna talk about a strategy for earning passive income with blockchain that I am personally doing and how you can do the same thing. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know one of my favorite things about being a blockchain developer is that there are all these different ways to earn passive income, okay? You can get a regular job, you can become a freelancer, but you can also uh, earn passive income, whether it's on the side or whether it's your main pursuit. And that's a huge reason why these skills are so valuable. So I wanna talk about a few different ways to do this and a new way that I haven't talked about so much on my channel. So, you know, you can do it with flash loans, uh, with DeFi. This is where you can borrow, you know, millions of dollars of cryptocurrency with zero money down. I've done lots of videos on my channel about flash loans. Also, trading bots, you know, arbitrage trading. You know, you can combine that with flash loans. Uh, you can build dApps to earn passive income. But here's another way that I haven't talked about quite as much. And that's running blockchain infrastructure. This is different from, you know, app development or bot development. This is actually participating in the underlying protocols that power blockchain and blockchain based applications, like running your own node so that you can earn cryptocurrency, you know, in the background while you sleep. So there are a few different ways to do this, but the way that I'm personally focusing on is with Chainlink. All right, I'll talk about Chainlink here in a minute and how it works. But there's a huge opportunity with Chainlink because it's powering a lot of the DeFi applications out there. And some of the top Chainlink nodes right now are, you know, earning upwards of like $10,000 per day on a really good day. So of course, there's no guarantee that, uh, you know, you'll just get those kind of results overnight. But uh, that's a pretty big upside. And even if you got a fraction of that, then this is still a pretty awesome opportunity. So I've set up my own chain link node. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. But here's the test network version. I've got a test network and a mainnet version. Um, so I'll put a link to this down in the description below so you can actually start using it today inside your own smart contracts. But uh, I actually want to show you how to do this. I want to take you over the shoulder and like show you how I set all this up. So I'm going to have a Chainlink masterclass on Wednesday, December 16th. I'll show you how to set up your Chainlink node, you know, run it in the cloud so that it's on 24 seven and then show you how to get people to actually use it. So sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. So what is Chainlink? Well, Chainlink provides real world data to smart contracts. So let me explain uh, how that works. So basically like Ethereum smart contracts, the only thing they know about are basically like uh, the cryptocurrency transactions on the blockchain, you know, what people's account balances are, like who owns how much cryptocurrency and, uh, you know, all the data inside of smart contracts. So it doesn't know anything about outside data, like what the weather is, what the price of Ethereum is, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what Chainlink is for. It provides this real world data to smart contracts. Let me explain why. Uh, let's look at an example of a blockchain here. So think about like a DeFi application, like a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange where there's a smart contract that lives on the blockchain that needs the price of Ethereum. So the smart contract is code, right? Written in solidity. Uh, and whenever it's deployed to the network, uh, basically the code is executed on different nodes in the network because, you know, blockchains, a peer to peer network of nodes all, all talk to one another. Each of these nodes are a computer. Okay. And each of these computers contains a code of the smart contract. So let's say, for example, you want to trade a token, uh, like a DAI, for example, stable cryptocurrencies, prices and change. You want to trade it for ether. Well, it needs to know what the price of ether is at that point. Okay. And that's all going to happen inside a smart contract. Um, and whenever that transaction happens, the computation that occurs is going to get executed on like every single node in this network. Okay. And so every single node in this network might have to ask like, what is the current price of Ethereum? And that data doesn't exist on the blockchain. So it might have to talk to an outside source. So there's a problem here. All these nodes are going to, are going to ask for that information at a different time. And so there could be a discrepancy. So when this node asks for it and then this node asks for it and then this one, they all might get a different answer because the price of Ethereum might change in that really small, uh, you know, window of time. That's what you need an Oracle for. The Oracle is going to be the external source of truth, uh, that provides this data and can talk to the blockchains that whenever this transactions run and, and consensus is achieved, then the Oracle can be this source of truth that tells you know each of these nodes what the current price of Ethereum is. Now there's lots of different ways to do this, but a lot of them are problematic, okay? Because they're centralized. So you could create your own Oracle. You could be an Oracle that just says, hey, you know, I'm the source of truth. Uh, the Ethereum price is this. 
But people might not trust that, okay, because you could manipulate that information and then cause one of these applications to go down. That's a centralized Oracle. So Chainlink is different. It's a decentralized Oracle protocol. So Chainlink uses a decentralized network of validators to achieve uh, a reliable answer to that question, like what is the price of Ethereum? So it's kind of like a blockchain in reverse, okay? So basically you have these different Chainlink nodes. Uh, these are like validators. And each of these validators, you know, requests the price of Ether, okay? And they actually come to consensus, uh, you know, on this answer in order to provide that to the smart contract that we saw in that previous example. That's where the opportunity is. You can actually become a Chainlink validator to like provide this outside data to the blockchain. And when you do, you'll be providing a real world service. And that's where the opportunity to earn passive income comes into play. So you earn passive income with Chainlink by becoming a validator. So basically you set up one of those nodes and you participate in uh, providing that outside data to the blockchain. And whenever a smart contract requests that and you're part of that process, then you earn a passive income reward with link tokens. So this is the actual Chainlink cryptocurrency. And this is you know what you earn uh, whenever you participate in that process. So being a Chainlink validator is a little bit different from you know running like an ETH2 node or a Bitcoin node. You know, th those are situations where basically you just spin up a computer that participates in the actual blockchain itself and you just turn mining on or you stake your cryptocurrency and you just turn on the money machine and it starts you know giving you passive income. So Chainlink is different. Uh, whenever you're a validator, you have to treat it like a digital business because you have to basically market your node and prove to other people that you're reliable and get them to use you in their product. So you can think about that like a digital business. And that's pretty cool though. So if you've been thinking about starting your own blockchain business, whether it's full-time or on the side, um, I mean, even if you're gonna go full-time, I recommend starting on the side because that's the best way to you know up your chances in the long run. Then you can treat this like a little side business where basically you can create your own node, set it up and get other people to use it inside their own applications. And so that's exactly what I'm gonna show you into the Chainlink Masterclass from A to Z. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your own Chainlink node how to set it up on a cloud uh, so they can run 24 seven and then how you can you know market it to get business for your node. And so those are all things that are really important, okay? Because you definitely wanna set this up in the cloud to run all the time. You don't wanna just set this up on your laptop because like, you know, you want it to be on all the time. And if you close your laptop, then it won't provide service. It won't be reliable. Uh, and so I'm gonna show you how to set it up where it'll be on, you know, forever, basically. Uh, this is a really valuable skill to learn. So even if you don't uh, decide to pursue this chain link opportunity as like a, a business, then you're gonna learn really valuable DevOps skills. So if you're trying to become a blockchain developer either get a job or become a freelancer, I can almost guarantee you that you're going to have to do some sort of DevOps tasks at some point, you know, administer a web server, like use SSH, um, some, you know, all command line types of types of things where you're just spinning up boxes and not writing apps, right? And it's the best way to learn because you actually have a purpose, right? You're saying, I'm trying to accomplish this goal and then I'm going to go through all these steps to get there and I'll learn all these really valuable skills along the way. It's, it's exactly how I teach you to build applications on this channel and also inside the blockchain bootcamp camp, you learn by doing with a really specific goal in mind, and you pick up all the skills along the way. And so these skills can be super valuable for you in your career. And if you're just starting out, you know, brand new, you definitely don't have to be a developer already to uh, do this. There won't be really much coding involved but you will learn a lot of DevOps skills and system administration along the way. You're also gonna get a much deeper understanding of how blockchain works through this process. And you will also see like how DeFi works from the inside out and how people are integrating this technology into their own DeFi apps. So you're gonna learn a lot about this really hot technology that I've talked about a ton on this channel that's exploded this past year and is gonna really continue to snowball, in my opinion, into 2021. And if you do decide to go at this for real, then you're gonna have a live node up and running. And I'm even show you how to you know get it set up to where you can market it and get other people to use it. So that's how to earn passive income with Chainlink. So again, mark your calendar for the Chainlink Masterclass. This is going to be on Wednesday, December 16th. All right, click the link down below to hold your spot today. This is going to be a live event where you can show up, you know, ask questions while we're doing this. And I'm going to show you everything, you know, step by step. All right, you don't need to be a developer today to get started. I'll show you everything at the event. 
All right. So as always, you know, smash the like button down below, subscribe to this channel so more people can, you know, learn about how to become blockchain developers. It really helps these videos out so that they can get found. And if you want to get a jump on the master class and just like freshen up your technical skills today or start building your own application, uh, then how can you get started? Well, you can go to my homepage and find any of my free courses there. You know, they're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. Um, you can, you know, learn how to build your own blockchain application that way. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, uh, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to build a blockchain chain application step by step start to finish over at dappyverse.com forward slash bootcamp. All right. It's a little bit different from the master class working on, you know, setting up infrastructure there. But if you want to know how to build an application and how blockchain works inside out, this is the best way to do it. All right. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.